Hey guys, I'm Jatinder Deol here at Planet Ford. Uh, today we have our 2021 Ford Bronco and uh, I'm gonna take a few seconds and go over all the technology this car has. Hey guys, today we have here the 2021 Ford Bronco Y-Track. This particular truck is uh, finished in the Area 51 shade and just look at it. I mean, this this is an icon which has came back after so long uh, and Ford has done a very good job with the styling uh, of the truck. You can see how it goes back to the 1960s when the Bronco first came out. Up front right here, we have the circular, circular LED, signature LED lights is what Ford calls it. We have the daytime running lights going around here um, into the grill followed by the white Bronco let lettering. On this particular one, we also have the steel uh, front modular heavy duty bumper with your parking sensors and exposed to tow hooks. Um, if, you, if you look closely here, these uh, bolts here have the Bronco uh, embossed on it. So every, everywhere you find this on the truck, uh, these, are, these could be taken out and swapped for accessories like your lights, uh, wrenches and what have you. Everything in this is thought for uh, off-roading and aftermarket. Uh, and Ford uh, themselves have came out with 200 uh, accessories with, uh, with the launch of this vehicle. Uh, if we go around here, uh, down at the bottom, you can see we have the active grill cheddars. Um, you have your adaptive cruise control sensor sitting there as well. The side profile of this vehicle, now this particular uh, truck is a four-door. You can also opt for a two-door option. It, uh, it has features like the easy entry access and lock in the car from the outside without having to uh, take your keys out. And if you look up closely here in the mirror, you also have LED lights uh, which double as zone lighting or you can just project uh, the light, uh, you can turn the lights on and project them however you want it. So these cameras double up as parking cameras and also when you're out on the trail, you can project different uh, camera angles in your screen to see what exactly is going on in every corner of the truck. So in the back here, uh, we have our LED tail lights with the turn signal reverse light, everything put in there very neatly. Uh, and during the night, as you can see the outline here, this actually uh, projects a B for the Bronco and a full-size uh, fifth wheel. This is also the 35 inch as we saw on the side uh, and a camera coming out right from the center here. So they've done a very good job packaging everything and making it look neat and uh, tidy. Uh, if you look down here, we have the uh, parking sensors also inbuilt in there. You have to open the swing tailgate here, there's a handle on the side. Uh, also, when it's locked, you can, if you have the keys in your pocket, you can just walk up to it and then open it right up. So this particular one also has the BNO sound system, which gives you 10 speakers, uh, including a subwoofer. The subwoofer sits down here, and then you have four speakers up here, right up top of the rear passengers. So, okay guys, uh, here in the interior of the new Ford Bronco, now this, all is again it uh, takes you back to when um, when it first came out in the 1960s they try and uh, bring the design back and also put everything possible in this thing this is also bought back from the 1960s bronco the switch panel here uh, for you to control your traction uh, front and rear diff locks your trail turn assist and whatever else you opt for. You can get an accessory rail which bolts up right here uh, at the back of the dash and you can uh, put on your phones, your GoPros, uh, or whatever kind of device you like to use. So with the, uh, with the accessory trail, you also have the power output here uh, to plug in your devices. You can also opt your Bronco uh, with the auxiliary switches here. Now you get six switches. These are all pre-wired uh, from Ford, so it's just easy for you to hook up your accessories on your truck. Uh, these could be used for exterior lighting, winches, uh, rear uh, light bars, and what have you. Down here in the, in the tack, you will see an analog speedometer with a digi digital screen here. Now this screen is um, could be customized the way you want. There are tons of options to go from uh, to go through in the screen here uh, and they also have 
different off-road options so, so you can see your pitch and roll, your power distribution and just your off-road status as to what's exactly happening uh, with the truck at any given point. Now Ford has came uh, out with something called the GOAT modes which means goes over any terrain. Um, it could be uh, changed and toggled from down here which is also finished in that rubberized material. Uh, so if I go over this most, there are seven different modes to choose from in this trim, uh, starting from your normal going all the way up to the uh, Baja mode. One very good thing about the GOAT modes is it's not like any other driving modes which you would uh, see in, in any uh, normal car. So if you're a beginner off-roader like myself, uh, all you have to do is select the terrain you are on and the truck does everything for you. For instance, if it needs to lock any differential, it will. Uh, if it needs to turn the traction off, it will and uh, whatever camera angles and uh, whatever it would be uh, pops right up. Now, the other good part of the GOAT modes is you can also override what GOAT mode has already done for you uh, and, and then you can take over. Um, so it's, it's really easy to use and it's, it's very straightforward. Now, in the middle of the GOAT mode dial here, you'll see a little Bronco icon. Now what that is, is your trail, um, is your trail one pedal drive. What that does is basically, uh, it's like a cruise control for off-roading and by you, the way this works is you can set it as low as one kilometers per hour and you could all only be using a single pedal for, uh, for when you're on the trail. That way you don't have to have uh, input with the brake and accelerator, you could be just doing everything from the gas pedal. So the Bronco can also be uh, opted with the 12 inch screen, uh, standard is 8 inches. Uh, what we have here is the 12 inch. Uh, as you can see it has a split view. Uh, both uh, screens are powered by SYNC 4 um, and they are very responsive. It's right there. Uh, you have different options which you could go through. You have your navigation built in um, which could also be full screen if you like. And and this is also capable of wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So on the uh, on the screen here in the split view, uh, this particular uh, view could be changed individually for whatever you want to put up there and what, uh, whatever you like. And anything which is up here could also be bought here just by sliding it just like that, which is so cool. So this screen here I will also project your 360 camera if I hit this button. Um, now you can see this is your bird's eye view of the truck here uh, and right now it's showing me the front of the car. If I put this thing in reverse, it's going to show me the reverse uh, camera and the 360 uh, bird's eye view. There's something called the zone lighting. So you can see here uh, it projects a Bronco, uh, again bird's eye view with different zones around it. So what this does is if I hit this button here, um, it allows me to project lights uh, anywhere from the car. So now if, uh, if I hit that, my headlights are on. If I hit this, all my brake lights, reverse lights are on. And if I hit this, the uh, lights on the side of the mirror, they're also turned on. And you can also access this from your phone uh, in the Ford Pass app. Talking about apps, it comes with the Ford Pass app and Ford Pass Performance app. The Performance app is exclusive uh, to the Bronco. What that, what that does is basically uh, you have different trails and, uh, which are marked by uh, Ford where you can take your Bronco and you can uh, upload media into the, into the app itself to share with di uh, different Bronco users and uh, to make a community of your own. Up front here we have a storage compartment which also does house your wireless charging pad. Uh, you get your dual zone climate control, heated seats for the front, heated steering wheel and your media control is everything is up down here. So this here uh, is where you're going to find your uh, windows, uh, window switches and for your uh, rear view mirror. The reason it's here again is because when you take the doors off you still have access to everything down here. Thank you guys for watching the walk around video on this 2021 Ford Bronco. Once again, I'm Jatinder Diol uh, at Planet Ford here in Brampton. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Uh, for more of our Ford content, we'll be coming out with more videos. Uh, please consider subscribing and let us know in the comments down below how uh, what all you love about the new Ford Bronco.